All right, so I readjusted the steering and the motors again, just so I can have enough oomph to get up this hill. Only having two wheels grab me and pull me up was not actually helping that much. Okay, let's observe the materials bay. This is on the slopes. Okay, so these are, if these are slopes, uh, I'm gonna get slopes anyways. So, ooh. Just a little bit of RCS there. Actually, how much RCS, I have, I have quite a bit of monitor propellant actually. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I didn't think these actually had slopes. I thought that the slopes started up at the top here. So I'm gonna have to keep taking a look at this. Yeah, still on the slopes. All right, that's fine. All right, I found the Midlands. So I'm kind of at the top here of, um, ugh, gosh, it's always a pain in the butt to try to stop this thing. I'm learning. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so we have the Midlands, so we'll do this. We'll keep that data. We will do our soil analysis. We'll turn off our brakes, otherwise this is gonna keep freaking out. Um, we will do pressure data. Oh, pressure data, no, not that's not what I want. I want a gravity. I want the seismometer, temperature. I want the goo. Cool, and finally, we're gonna blast the ground. I love that thing. It's just the coolest thing ever. Um, let's, uh, uh, I, there we go. Let's point it down at the ground and then fire the laser. Cool, we got that. We can now uh, close camera. I think that's everything. We have the soil. We have that. We have this. Okay, so let's go take back all of our data to the uh, the Unity, and then once we're there, one of the Kerbals will get out, will retrieve the data, and then they can be off on their way. And I think some of these are repeatable. Like, like, um... Well, actually, I think the soil analysis might not be. But I think the camera is laser beam, the Johnny 5, and I think some of these are. So once we recover the data, it should be rec uh, repeatable, which means we can then uh, either put this back on our craft and go, which would be pretty cool. That would be uh, quite something to, to be able to do that. And then potentially go south from here and get a few more biomes, but overall, I think... Uh, I think the amount of science that this one rover will get us is enough just one trip. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do... That was weird that that popped up. You don't necessarily have to do, you know, multiple trips with the rover to different biomes. I think just one should be more than enough. I am pretty impressed with, uh, with just how well the, you know, the adjustment on height is working to keep this thing from scratching against the ground. Speaking of which, probably... Bring it a little lower for this stuff. I like how I can make a jump, too. I think that's that's quite cute. When you jump with a Kerbal on Minmus, they go really high. I will show you next time we land. Uh, that's, once again, all depending on whether or not I'm able to get the science from this. If I'm if I'm able to pick it up and, you know, redo science, then, then I'll, I'll, I'll get this reattached. But if I'm not able to do that, then I, I don't really... Uh, I don't really see the need with bringing it with us. We can leave it here for scientific, you know, observations and stuff. Maybe, maybe it'll happen like it happened with Mars, where a, a comet comes real close and we want to observe said comet. I think that would be quite sweet. Whoa. Yeah. Going on two wheels. I think it's really hard to control on Minmus. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Like, coming up to the Unity, I got to make sure I start slowing down now. Otherwise, I'm going to just blast right past it or into it. You know, we don't want that to happen either. And from what I've learned is hitting the brakes, just front flip every time. Just every time, unless you're going like three meters a second. It's pretty much uh, a guaranteed front flip. Whoa. Let's get those back on so we can then reline up. Just don't hit the unity and we'll be fine, I think.
The the one problem I could see with uh, with reattaching is you really got to work on getting these lined up just right, which would be quite difficult. Ooh, those breaks though. All right, uh, now that actually that is far enough or close enough, we can uh, jump out. We're gonna have Burfree go get it. So he's going to jump and uh, woo, and fall. He's, he's still getting his Minmus legs. It's like sea legs, except, uh, you know, a frozen moon. Also, should probably point out that when I when I take off from here, I need to make sure I'm kind of following the sun. So any place I go needs to go to the east as opposed to, to the west, uh, as far as finding science is concerned. Okay, let's hop up on here. I could do this pretty easily if I did it through the, the hard drives, which is the reason why I had it. But let's just collect the data. Uh, yeah, it's it'll render it inoperable. So let's try something. Let's switch over to, to the, uh, nope, to the, there we go, to the Magnus. Let's fill hard drive. Let's fill that hard drive and let's fill that hard drive. Okay, so we don't, obviously we don't need to. So let's go back to Burfree who can collect the data um, could collect that data or not because that one doesn't have any. That's right. I can collect all that. And I think the rest of it is just going to be kind of inoperable, which is, which is kind of fine. Okay. Let's, whoa. Uh, 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 uh. Actually, let's show you the jump. Why not? So no, no thrusters. Here's his jump. He jumps crazy high. I really do like it. I do like maneuvering on Minmus because such low gravity means that you can really zip around. It actually reminds me of Unreal Tournament, weirdly enough. But uh, that is simply because of the the way that that game maneuvered. I really like that game. All right, so I have all of that stuff, which is nice. Now we could try picking up the Magnus. Some of the stuff is unoperable. So like if I go back to it, uh, if I do this, I can I can log data. I can log data through this. Ooh, actually, I didn't review data. Ooh, I need to uh, I need to come back for that. But I can't do any of these, so I can't do either of those, which kind of sucks. But I could bring it back with us. So let's get Burfree back out. Let's get that uh, that data off of the science module, and then maybe we'll pick it back up pretty close to what I need for docking it. All right. Uh, you know what? Why, why not? Let's, let's attempt. Let's attempt. Uh, also, why is that still there? I don't, I don't actually know. Uh, I, I don't know why it's open. It won't, it won't let me close it. That's fine. Okay. So we need to just take off a little bit, right? And then we need to go off over here just a little bit. I don't know if I could do this, actually. It's going to be kind of intense. I got to get right above the Magnus and then come straight down on it, which is going to be a lot easier said than done. I think I should just abort. This may go horribly wrong. Okay. Uh, back this way. I overdid it a bit. Whoop. Okay. Maybe not. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I could try driving it under. That actually might work. Let's let's land and we'll try one last thing because this is going to be insanely complicated to reattach this thing. So let oh, this is going to be really hard even this way. Uh, back to that. Release these back to the ground. I need them low. About that low. And I need to do my best that I can. Oh, that's right. Which direction? Okay, I'm driving this way. Which means I don't want to be backing up into this. And I also don't want to run over my flag there. So I got to make a, a complete circle. I'm trying to line it up just right. It's going to be quite difficult. Because the legs are in the way for me to get back to the position that I had it before. So I just got to be super gentle and slow here. And uh, I got to lower this again. 
Okay. Maybe it'll try to auto dock. Ooh, it's close. It is real close. Okay, let me go this way. Maybe, maybe I don't actually need my wheels up. You know what I mean? Maybe I could just kind of keep the, the rover folded out. Okay. Uh, uh, got it. I got it. Okay, so let's take the wheels and do that with it. Unfortunately, my wheel is right underneath the engine. So let's do this. Undock. Okay, we need to switch to the Magnus. And we need to realign ourselves. I think with future designs, with our new and improved spacecraft that we'll have, I really need to make sure... Okay, I really need to make sure that I'm... Dang, it's still kind of rotated it awkward like <sighs> let's see how the wheels would whoa i mean that's not bad if i see it like sees it as part of the craft so it's not exactly gonna completely destroy it destroy it that is um but it it'll get close so is that gonna blow the wheels off realistically i think it would so Maybe when I land it, I'll just leave the magnets here because I don't like, I don't like being super unrealistic with these kind of things. I think realistically this wheel would be on fire right now, both of them, which it's just difficult to line it up properly because you have to, I mean, you have to have the rover folded up and then you have to dock on top of it. So in, in future designs, I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm using a, a docking bay of some description as opposed to just having it kind of attached at the bottom here. Let's get uh, up here. So we got the highlands or greater highlands or whatever the heck it was there. Let's zoom in and see. So, whoa, I'm going to go way further than I wanted to. Okay, well then let's flip retrograde and we'll get a bit more science off of one of these areas over here. I gotta make sure I don't crush the Magnus either. It's just high enough off the ground, but if I'm on a bump, uh, it could actually mean very bad things for us because we can very easily push up into the, the this part here just by landing, which would then you know cause the whole fuel tank up here to explode, which it is getting close to empty. Uh, I really need to keep an eye on my fuel. That does not help. That doesn't show anything. I think this is not necessarily accurate, so I'm going to have to judge it based on how much fuel these tanks have. Uh, once we start using these tanks, we actually need to start our return trip because getting an orbit back around Minmus and then going back to Kerbin, which is right there. Beautiful in the sky. I love that. I love all those over there, too. Um... Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be difficult because we need to make sure we have enough to pretty much get an orbit around Minmus again and then uh, get back to Kerbin, and that actually does require a little bit more fuel than some people tend to to realize. Gonna try to make this as smooth as possible. Oh, my shadow! Oh gosh, my shadow keeps like disappearing. I really don't like that uh, because that's where we're at with the sun. Is it's giving me a really good idea of how far off the ground I actually am. Obviously, when it reaches my you know landing struts then that is definitely when i have touched down Whew. nice nailed it uh cool so we can uh hopefully not flip over but let's crew report we'll send that off and we'll do the rest of our science here so we did these before so then we do these ones we have my camera laser the ground, and not the <laughs> and not the uh, Magnus. Okay, fire. Cool. We will close the camera, and then we'll do this set of science. 125, 100, another 100, 40, and 50, and then uh, it's time to EVA. Surface sample. So this is the lowlands. UVA report. 
and we'll go back up. So now what I can do is, whoop, oh, I, I hate how I like bounce off. I really need to add ladders to my vessels uh, starting my next one. So we need to transmit that. We'll keep that, 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 and that. And with transmitting that, that should... Oh, how much fuel do we have in this tank? Getting pretty low. We might be able to do one more area, I think, before we should consider going back. Also, where should we go? So we're on the lowlands, and our options are the slopes, which are kind of like around this. And then we have the the highlands. I think the, the highlands are up over, like way up over here. These are the lowlands. So maybe, maybe I should just go for the slopes. I think that might be a, a good idea, which is just off over here. And then we'll make our way back. 